Today I'm showing you how to use the Cameo Chameleon in Mortal Kombat 1. Showing you what her moves are doing, how to use them effectively, some tips and tricks about her, and even some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Let's talk about Chameleon. The first thing you wanna know about her is, yeah, she changes regardless of whether you want her to or not. She changes in cycles between Katana's, Jade's, Melina's moves. And the cycle I've found is every six seconds. Like I've timed it and it's always six seconds. And you don't have control over that, kind of. Cause after any single cameo move you do with Chameleon, you can just hold the cameo button and she'll change into the next character's move set. So if we're Jade and we do cameo, we hold it, she'll just change into Katana instantly, whether it's been six seconds or not. So so it goes Jade, Katana, Melina, Jade, Katana, Melina, and that's how it always cycles. So if I'm using Katana, Chameleon right now, I know, okay, in just a few seconds, I'm gonna get Melina. And yep, there we go. Each version's moveset is unique and a lot of fun to use. And I feel like every character can benefit off of all variations. The first again is the ability to change to the next cycled character ASAP after using a move by holding down the cameo button. The next thing you can do is just back cameo. And what does this do? That reduces your next hit by half. So if Sub-Zero does a kick and it's 70 damage like this kick, if we use Chameleon first, now it's 35 damage. By the way, quick tip, that does not work on fatal blows. Like you can't half the damage of your opponent's fatal blow. You do half the damage on the first initial hit, but the rest of the fatal blow is normal. All three variations of Chameleon have two different moves, neutral cameo and forward cameo. So with three variations, you have six different moves along with your whatever moves, like your back cameo is always there. So you technically have seven, which is actually pretty sick. And each cameo variation is gonna affect you differently and have different benefits. So let's go ahead and start off with Melina's variation of Chameleon. Your standard cameo is the ball roll, but what's cool about that, that is an overhead starter. So that's really cool because you can throw it in for the mix-ups like this. Low, low, overhead, then continue the combo from there. And every character has a combo route like that. Go for the low, then the overhead using Melina Chameleon. And then Melina's forward cameo is kind of like Sonya. As you see, she shoots her size, but you have to be in the air. So it's kind of an air combo extender. Again, very much like Sonya. So if we wanted to use her like this, you definitely could. Or you can use her to keep your opponent in the air so you can jump and continue an air combo like this. However you want to use it, there's a lot of uses for it. And it kind of replaces Sonya for that one move, I mean. Also, quick side note, this ball roll, the overhead, that is not safe. So don't throw it out there unless you hit confirm because then you're going to be super unsafe and get punished for it. It is an overhead, yes. If your opponent reads it, again, you're going to get punished. Now let's talk about Jade's chameleon moves. The standard Jade move is very much like Serena. She throws a glaive out and it comes back. It is mid hitting both times, which is really nice. And that is very good for combo extension. It's not four hits like Serena, obviously but it's very reminiscent of that just like this so as you can see we already have kind of a replacement for Sonya and kind of a replacement for Serena it's just really good for ground combo extension Lane is good for air combo extension and then the next thing Jade does for you with her forward cameo is she makes you projectile invulnerable for about six seconds so now we've kind of replaced Sonya we've kind of replaced Serena now we're kind replacing sub-zero cameo by making us projectile and vulnerable in that essence now i say kind of because of course you can't automatically always do it like it could if you're using sonya serena or sub-zero you have to wait until you know chameleon is going to be jade or melina but she changes every six seconds so if you needed to use that move you have to wait max 12 seconds which yes can be a lot during a fast-paced fight but you're getting a lot more benefits out of it i think so far really good tool now let's talk about katana chameleon's moves which i think have to be my favorite her standard cameo move is a great combo extension the fan throw it does put your opponent in the air but again it's great for combo extension like this You can already see the crazy things going on with Katana's neutral cameo move. And then by the time you continue any kind of combo like that, Chameleon's probably changed to Melina, allowing you to maybe ball roll after that. There's just so much potential with that alone. Now, Katana Chameleon's forward cameo move has three different variations of it. So how it is alone is just an airlift. And on the surface, you might be like, wait, why? Well, first, more often than not, you can combo from a grab using that move like this. I found that many characters can combo from the grab just like that. It's also good to put you in the air, of course, for air combos. It also allows you to combo off of uppercuts, which is insane. Like normally we have to use our uppercut cancel mechanic and that costs two bars. Or now it's like, nah, we're just gonna use one cameo bar. 
kind of crazy. There's a lot of potential in that as well, of course, allowing you to jump off of anything. It's one of my favorite ambush moves in the entire game. It's also a great way if you're in the corner to switch sides with your opponent and then put them in the corner like this. They don't expect it. Now they're in the corner and they're pressured, giving you the upper hand in that way. There's just a lot of uses for it. And then a big tip I have for you when using Chameleon as a cameo is her throws. I mean, she's got three different throws, right? Jades, Katana, Molinas. It says here on the pause menu, they always do 110 each, but I found that's not the case. Now, to be fair, this might get patched later. I don't know. But as of right now, it's different. Like Katana's grab here does 110, yes. But Molina's grab only does 90 and then jade's grab does 130 damage so all the different throws do different damages so that's something to keep in mind as well if you're planning on your grab to actually win you the fight melina's does less but jade's does more with the moves explained as to what they're doing behind the scenes let me go ahead and show you guys what i know you came here for the combos with chameleon i'll show you the combos of course with a couple different characters kind of give you a really good idea of how she can be used Let me know down below, what do you think of Chameleon in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like her? Do you hate her? What uses have you found for her? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.